Charming. Yes, Ben. Have you got a moment? Yes, Ben. Uh, I've uh, got a problem. Yes, Bernard. <laughs> you know? Yes, Bernard. How? Ah. Because you've just told me, Bernard. So, I mean, uh, do you know what my problem is? Your problem is, Bernard, that you don't ever come to the point. Uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> well, the Prime Minister has just had lunch with Derek Burnham, the editor of... Yes, the... I know he is, Bernard. Yes, and the Prime Minister told him that the minutes of Cabinet Committee confirm that he didn't try to suppress Chapter 8 of the book and that he would publish them if necessary to prove that he didn't. So what is your problem? Well, uh, the minutes aren't written yet. I see. So, uh, what should I do? Write them, dear Bernard. <laughs> uh, yes, well, the problem is the Prime Minister did try to suppress the chapter, didn't he? I don't know, did he? <laughs> well, didn't he? Don't you remember? What I remember is irrelevant, Bernard. If the minutes don't say that he did, then he didn't. So you want me to falsify the minutes? I want nothing of the sort. <laughs> it's up to you, Bernard. What do you want? I want to have a clear conscience. A clear conscience? Yes. <laughs> when did you acquire this taste for luxuries? <laughs> Consciences are for politicians, Bernard. We are humble functionaries whose duty it is to implement the commands of our democratically elected representatives. How could we possibly be doing anything wrong if it has been commanded by those who represent the people? Well, I can't accept that, Sir Humphrey. No man is an island. I agree, Bernard. No man is an island entire of itself. And therefore, never send to know for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> it tolls for thee, Bernard. So what do you suggest, Sir Humphrey? Bernard. The minutes do not record everything that was said at a meeting, do they? Well, no, of course not. And people change their minds during a meeting, don't they? Well, yes. So the actual meeting is a massive ingredient for you to choose from. Oh, like cooking? Like, no, not like cooking. <laughs> Better not to use that word in connection with books or minutes. <laughs> you choose from a jumble of ill-digested ideas, a version which represents the Prime Minister's views as he would, on reflection, have liked them to emerge. But if it's not a true record... The purpose of minutes is not to record events. It is to protect people. <laughs> you do not take notes if the Prime Minister says something he did not mean to say, particularly if it contradicts something he has said publicly. You try to improve on what has been said, put it in a better order. You are tactful. But how do I justify that? You are his servant. Oh, yes. <laughs> a minute is a note for the records and a statement of action, if any, that was agreed upon. Now, what happened at the meeting in question? Well, the book was discussed, and the Solicitor General advised there were no legal grounds for suppressing it. And did the Prime Minister accept what the Solicitor General had said? Well, he accepted the fact there were no legal grounds for suppression, but... He accepted the fact that there were no legal grounds for suppression. You see? Oh. <laughs> is that a lie? No. Can you write it in the minutes? Yes. How is your conscience? Much better, thank you, sir. <laughs>